it is my extended family. God took my daughter, so now he's blessed me with an extended family. I was a broken woman, uh, not knowing what to do. I'd lost my daughter. This was around the time of Michael Brown, and uh, no one cared but me. And uh, I had not a clue as to what to do, or how to move forward, or how to handle this. And uh, with the help of uh, my newfound family, and who gave me strength, and met other women and mothers who had lost daughters to, uh, by the hand of the police, uh, I was able to kind of pick myself up, move forward, and give me strength to move forward, make changes, uh, make amendments with my laws, name is and move forward for others, to pave the way for others. Now, you, you really have. Yeah. You have a voice. Brad's been part of getting a law passed in, uh, in, in San Antonio. And from Arizona, in Arizona. What we've done there is my daughter was killed by the hands of the police for a pickup order. She had a mental health problem. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle Cousseau. Cousseau. Uh, police entered our home, uh, unannounced, broke in, um, shot her in the heart. Uh, the officers were found guilty of seven uh, violations of, um, they found them guilty of seven violations. With that, we've moved forward, changed pickup laws for people with mental health and made other changes. Yeah. So I with help and resources that I have here, we can move forward and make changes. We can do it. Sharon, to you. Um, can you introduce us a little bit to the Sharon that existed before African American Policy Forum? Sharon was a broken woman, grandmother, wife. because when I came, I was broken, very depressed, oppressed. Um, I didn't know that they had other women out there like me that had lost daughters to law enforcement because you don't hear about it. You hear about the males, but you don't hear about the females. So when I came, I, could, I really couldn't even talk about it now. Sharing my story helps me to go on. It helps my granddaughters to go on because they are proud of what I'm doing. God gave me sisters. I don't have any biological sisters. Now I have sisters all around the world. And yeah. we come together. We lift each other up when we're done. When I think about one of my sisters, I lift them up. And I hope they do the same for me. But the the, the form really helped me, and it's still helping me today to be able to go on and be a voice to others that have lost. We haven't lost, they was taken from us. Yeah. I don't like the word yeah. lost, because if you lose something, yeah. you can find it, but yeah. we can't go back and find our daughters, right. because they was taken yeah. by the hand of law enforcement. These are the people that were supposed to
Thank you. Thank you.